fish on! It's a big fish, guys. It's a huge fish. Woo! Louisa was fighting that fish perfect, too, and I could tell it was a big fish. Gosh, that's a wow. big one, huh? It is a big one, Jimmy. Oh my gosh. Watch out, watch out. Keep it tight. Well, welcome back to another episode of Living the Dream. Today we're out here in Costa Rica at Crocodile Bay Resort, and I got something little on to start it off here inshore. I'm not really sure what it is, but we're after rooster fish, so we might get lucky. And oh, it looks like a little snapper. Look at the little snapper there. Oh, yeah. Little barred snapper. There it is. That's a little barred snapper there. Very common out here on the Pacific Coast, Panama, Costa Rica, Mexico. Really good eating fish as well. It's not a real big one, but uh, it's, it's very tasty. I tell you what, one this size, I'm probably just gonna go ahead and let go and uh, try for something a little bigger. It's a heck of a way to start it out here though. Real pretty fish. Check out the teeth on that thing, man. Has some serious fangs. Want to keep your fingers away from that. They're a very tasty fish, but I'm going to go ahead and let them go anyways. Pretty fish too, man. And you can tell why they're called a barred snapper. Looks like they have bars running down them. Go ahead and get him in the water. The fishing in Costa Rica is a little bit slow compared to Florida just because the fishery here is so amazing. But the thing you get in Costa Rica is you get big fish and you get fish that you don't catch in other places. After waiting for a little while, we ended up getting another hit. Fish on! Oh, feels like a pretty good one, Cap. He's running. Oh my goodness, that didn't take long after that little snapper. Wow. <laughs> well, we were over there catching some snapper on the other side. Decided to run over here across the bay to try for rooster fish because the rooster fish bite was kind of slow. And uh, I think we got one right away. I mean, this was quick. And we have one on here. He's already right by the boat here. Oh, he's going forward, Cap. He's going forward. It's a good fish. It's a real good fish. Come on, keep, keep going with me. Give me some tension. He's still in front. Good fish. That's a good fish. Nothing I can do but let it take line. What we have on here, the tackle's not gonna give. I got 80 pound braid down to an 80 pound high seas fluorocarbon leader. So if it, oh, look at that rooster, huge. Big tackle, big rooster right here. Look at the size of this monster. Woo! That is a beast. That's a trophy sized rooster. That's not the size rooster that you're gonna catch every day. It's a fish of a lifetime for most people. And we were super stoked to see that thing on the end of our line. Whoa! Whoo! Now that's a rooster fish, guys! Homegrown in Costa Rica! Wow! What a monster! This is what we were after. The snapper were biting, and now the big rooster fish. Holy cow. And that right there is worth two plane tickets and a ride over to Crocodile Bay Resort right there. The big monster Pesgayo rooster fish. What a beauty. <laughs> what a monster rooster fish this is right here, guys. Gosh, I can't even hold them right for you. He's gonna go in. Woo! Here we go. It was pretty awesome to have that fish in the boat and have that thing in our hands because that was a true trophy. Oh, oh, is that a fish? I got a fish, guys. I got a fish. Woo! Fish on! I just rigged up one of those uh, CNH hard wires on one of their little mini mighty swivels. And as soon as this thing hit the water, the fish was on. I mean, you guys saw it. One flip into the water and the fish just, it saw it hit and started going. And he's going down. He's digging in. That's strange for a fish that hits on the surface. Gosh, it's a strong one, whatever it is. Holy cow. 
the rod that I have it set up on here is a Tsunami 20 to 40 class spinning rod with an 8,000 shield reel. So it's one of their larger reels. It's gotta be a jack. I mean, this thing is just kicking and kicking. I would say tuna are the strongest fish pound for pound, but jacks are not far behind them. Jack are a very strong fish and they will fight till the very end. There he is, Monster Jack. Look at that, gosh. It's almost as big as that rooster. And look at that fish, oh. That's a big jack. Jack Creval are very strong fish. It's not a fish I typically would target, but uh, if you're not catching much, they always put up a good fight and will definitely put a bend in your rod, that's for sure. Woo! Mm. And there's the fish back in the boat. Monster, another dinosaur out here. Oh. Again, we got cut off, and I just decided to grab some wire out of the box there and rig this up for that Sierra mackerel. You can see that hook got him there. I actually have wire on there. Didn't kink up, break, nothing. Landed us a big old fish, but it's not what we were after, but we'll take it. I'm not a fan of jacks, but they sure do pull. Tough fish. What do I have here? Yeah, little Benita. Look at him, he's trying to swim. Can't do it. But got him on one of those uh, purple Palomar jigs. Let him go. Big shark. Oh, look at the size of the whale shark. Oh, We're down to water, Mikey. Oh, my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Can you believe it? You guys see that? There's a whale shark right there that came up to our boat. Right there. It's my first time ever shark. Usually you're hunting all over the place trying to find them when you know they're in the area, but to have one just come right up to you, that's unheard of and it was beautiful. It was a juvenile whale shark, it wasn't a real big one, but I mean it was just lit up, it was right behind the boat, and it's one of the neatest things you could ever see while you're out there. We started the next morning off inshore fishing again, started doing the same thing we did the day before, trolling our baits, except today we got hit right away. Fish on! <laughs> All right. I love it when they hit first thing in the morning. Well guys, we're out here for day number two at a Crocodile Bay Resort in Costa Rica. And I don't have a real big one on right now, but I think it's a rooster fish. We just saw some fins in front of the boat and we were heading towards them, but I guess there's some fish behind the boat as well. He's coming in. It's not a baby, but it's not, uh, it's not huge. It's definitely not a monster. We're getting him pretty close to the boat here. It's coming right up on this side. Here we go, he's coming up. It's gonna be a little guy. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, what is it? It's a little rooster. Actually, he's not that bad. That's a good one. He's bringing me all over the place. Thought he was a baby, he's not all that baby. Good fish. There's so many reasons that I like rooster fish, but one of the main reasons I like catching rooster fish so much is because they're just such a cool looking fish. They're only inshore on the Pacific coast and only in certain areas on the Pacific coast, so you can't even catch them everywhere there. Sometimes you have to work for them for several days, so it's very rewarding when you do work for a couple days to catch that fish. Here we go. What a way to start it. Good rooster, man. Wow, he's not a monster, but he's not a baby either, like I was saying. Nice fish. Can't ask for much better than that. Great way to start it. They have that cool mohawk going on, you know, the big fins sticking up off the top that'll stick out of the water sometimes when they're feeding. And they are a very aggressive fish, so when you get them in a school, they will compete with each other for your bait. So that's always neat if you see them busting on your bait or on a top water lure. There's another look at that first rooster fish of the morning. It's a beauty. Let's get out there and get a couple more of them. All right. 
love catching these things. They're so much fun. Oh, look at him. He's trying to kick off. You don't even want to be revived. Look at those beautiful fins in the water. Wow. 10 minutes into trolling, maybe. Saw a rooster fish pop up in front of the boat. We're looking at everything in the front, and the line takes off. So hopefully the rest of the day will go as good as this morning's been going so far. Let's get these lines back out, Cap. We can do this. Woo! Oh, fish on. What is that? Woo! We got a jumper. It's not a rooster. Yeah. It's a shark. It's actually a shark, guys. Stealing my bait. Wrong fish here. Look at that. Didn't even get him in the mouth. You know how hard it is to catch a shark like that? Anybody can catch one in the mouth. Look at this here. Ah, there we go. It's a little guy, so I can manhandle him a little bit. Trying to steal our bait. Yeah, there it is. Little black tip. Fish, guys, it's a huge fish. Woo! Louisa was fighting that fish perfect too, and I could tell it was a big fish. Gosh, that's a wow. big one, huh? It is a big one, Jimmy. Oh my gosh, watch out, watch out. Keep it tight. Oh, there he is on the surface, right there. Wow. Look at that. There he is. Woo! And then when that fish surfaced and I saw it, I knew she had a monster on. This is amazing. Catching rooster fish in paradise. I mean, I couldn't have asked for a better day. She's doing everything right. She's taking her time with it and she's just working it towards the boat. She was doing everything she needed to do to get it right next to us so that we could land it. Ooh, he's still got some kick left. He's gonna probably try to pull line. Oh yeah. It's a beast, Louisa. Get him under control. Want to support him like this so he don't hurt himself. He wants to go crazy, but I don't want him to. Oh my gosh. Okay, this wow. is my biggest rooster fish ever. It's a monster, and he's huh? Costa Rica. Woo! Crocodile Bay Resort knows how to grow them, don't oh, they? Sure. Wow. Well oh done. God. And that was on the 60 pound high seas fluorocarbon leader. Okay. I'm glad we had the heavier leader on. Yeah. Because that lighter leader might not have held up to a big fish like that. That's right. Slow day, only a couple fish. But when you get one this size, it makes it all worth it. That's a trophy right there. Quality over quantity. All, all day. day long. Day long. Woo, well done. All right, well let's snap a picture or two with this guy and then release him, how about that? Let's do it. All right.